NVIDIA's trading around $190, Marvell's sitting near $86, and investors keep asking the same thing. With AI demand exploding, which one actually has more room to run? Because NVIDIA, they're already a $4.6 trillion beast. Marvell, $75 billion. Same market, totally different market cap. And here's the crazy part. I'm still not convinced that anyone even understands what's happening under the hood. NVIDIA just posted roughly $41 billion in data center revenue, up more than 56% year over year. And Marvell, they grew their data center segment about 69%, even though it's a tiny fraction of NVIDIA's size. Two completely different business models, but both riding the same exact AI wave. And then there's something I haven't heard anyone talk about, something that's buried in their latest deployments. And I think it could tell you which stock has the better long-term runway. And keep watching because I'm going to show you exactly what that signal is and how it could affect the next decade of returns for both companies. Hey, what's up? My name is Rick Orford. I've been trading since 1999 and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That is a good thing. I break down the numbers so retail investors like us can make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. By the end of this video, You'll know whether NVIDIA's momentum is still justified, whether Marvell is actually undervalued. And the one metric I'm tracking that could flip this entire comparison on its head. By the way, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our friends at Moomoo for sponsoring this video. I gotta say, I'm loving their AI assistant. I mean, it's kind of like ChatGBT, but it's connected with real-time market data, so you can get in-depth and pinpoint analysis. And if that's not enough, new and qualified users from the States can get up to $1,000 worth of NVIDIA stock and up to 8.1% APY for a limited time with their Cash Sweep program. Scan this QR code or check the link in the description to see why 27 million users trust Moomoo for their everyday trading needs. Let's get into it. NVIDIA is one of those companies that barely needs any introduction anymore. For the past few years, they've been front and center in pretty much every conversation about artificial intelligence. And the crazy part? Most people, well, they still don't understand how they actually got there or why it matters for the stock. To understand how NVIDIA got here, you have to go back before the AI boom. NVIDIA was founded in April of 1993 to build graphics chips for video games. With 3D graphics just starting to take off, they focused on that emerging market early, and they positioned themselves from the start to ride the next big wave in computing. And that early bet ended up changing their entire destiny, and it sets up everything for what comes next. In 1999, the company unveiled GeForce 256, the world's first ever graphics processing unit. And this wasn't just a new chip. It kicked off the GPU era, which later became the backbone of modern AI. Then, seven years later, they pioneered the Compute Unified Device Architecture, or CUDA. It's a parallel computing platform. And if you've ever wondered why NVIDIA left every competitor in the dust, this is one of those reasons. This technology transformed graphic cards into far more powerful general-purpose processors allowing them to function alongside traditional CPUs. And because of that, NVIDIA's GPUs can now handle simulations, crypto mining, rendering, and most importantly, artificial intelligence workloads. So CUDA lets developers build AI software directly on NVIDIA hardware, locking in loyalty and creating a moat that's almost impossible to break. And today, NVIDIA sits at the top of the AI chip world. Their latest Blackwell chips pack massive performance into a single GPU platform. They use tensor cores to speed up AI training and inference and include built-in protection through NVIDIA's confidential computing features to help keep sensitive data more secure. So these things print processing power. And NVIDIA? they can't even keep up with demand. 
On the other hand, Marvell Technology, they're also a semiconductor company that builds high-performance chips for AI data centers, cloud computing, and enterprise networks. That company was founded in 1995, and the company began by designing a CMOS-based read channel for disk drives, and their first major customer was Seagate. Not as flashy as a GPU, but surprisingly crucial in the AI world. Today, Marvell focuses on the data infrastructure side of AI rather than competing directly with giants like NVIDIA. Marvell's product line includes wireless and networking processors, Ethernet transceivers, Ethernet switches, storage and memory accelerators, and hardware security processors. And these are the technologies that keep the data moving, secure and accessible across massive networks. And this makes Marvell a crucial behind the scenes player in the AI and cloud ecosystem. And here's the part that I think many of us are missing. Without companies like Marvell, NVIDIA's chips, they can't reach their full potential. Well, right off the bat, we can see that these two companies are not in direct competition with each other. In fact, they kind of have a symbiotic relationship, and it's the one that analysts like to see. That dynamic alone raises the big question, right? Which stock benefits more? from the AI surge. Well, let's take a look at how their stocks have performed recently because price action tells you how the market feels even before the fundamentals do. Currently, NVIDIA trades at around $190 while Marvell trades around $86. These are two very different numbers and two very different expectations baked in. The market values NVIDIA at around $4.6 trillion while Marvell is valued at around $75 billion. One's a mega-cap titan, and the other one's a mid-cap with room to stretch. And that difference matters a lot for upside. Both of the companies, though, they're trading at a premium. NVIDIA is priced at around 55 times their earnings, and Marvell around 52. So the market is paying top dollar for both because they expect massive future growth for both companies. So high multiple, high reward, or high multiple, high danger. It's the classic growth stock trade-off. Volatility-wise, NVIDIA has a 60-month beta of 2.11, and Marvell is 1.95. So both stocks tend to move about twice as much as the overall market. If the market goes up by 1%, these stocks go up around 2 historically. And if the market falls by 1%, they drop by about 2%. Now, over the past year, NVIDIA's stock has grown 39%, while Marvell is down about 24%. Two companies in the same AI ecosystem moving in the opposite directions. And then, if we take a look at the five-year period, we can see an even wider gap. NVIDIA is up around 1,371% versus Marvell's 103%. That's not a gap. That's an entirely different universe of returns. So it's almost expected that NVIDIA's stock has performed better as it's one of the Magnificent Seven, the one of the large cap tech leaders that, that have driven a significant share of their recent market gains. But Stock prices, they're just one thing. They rarely tell the whole story on their own. There's factors that could affect these companies' future growth. Actually, this is something that's come up in my Discord, and I think we ought to talk about it right now because it'll give us a clearer picture. And the next part really is where we start to see where the divergence begins. Data centers have contributed a large part of both NVIDIA's and Marvell's revenue. In their most recent filings, NVIDIA reported data center revenue of around $41 billion. That's up 56% year over year, while Marvell reported data center revenue of about $1.5 million, which translated to a 69% increase year over year. One has sheer scale, while the other has percentage growth. And both matter, but in different ways. And earlier, I mentioned they're not in competition, but they work together to keep AI systems running. So it's not surprising to see both companies working together in major deployments, since their tech complement each other. Networking bandwidth and fast, reliable connections are critical for modern AI applications, especially with generative AI. And this here is that quiet, under-the-radar reason that Marvell even has a shot at outsized growth. 
Marvell has spent years working closely with NVIDIA to develop high bandwidth technology that can support the massive scale that these systems require. And their collaboration focuses on creating solutions that move data quickly and consistently across different protocols. And that gives AI workloads the performance and the stability that they need to run efficiently in large data center environments. And let's not forget that in May of 2025, NVIDIA unveiled NVLink Fusion, where hyperscalers can tap into NVIDIA's entire partner ecosystem and plug right in into NVIDIA's rack scale systems. This makes it much easier to roll out AI hardware across their data centers. It basically streamlines the entire deployment process, so everything works together smoothly from day one. Think of it like plug and play, but for billion dollar AI clusters. And Marvell is one of their partners. The two companies are combining Marvell's custom silicon with NVIDIA's new NVLink Fusion technology, which lets cloud providers plug their own custom XPUs directly into NVIDIA's high-speed AI infrastructure. And this is the kind of partnership that can quietly 10x demand for a smaller company like Marvell if they execute well. So both NVIDIA and Marvell's most significant revenue drivers are connected to the AI boom today. And their complementary roles mean that any tailwinds in the sector will affect them both. However, NVIDIA is a much bigger company, and with a nearly $5 trillion valuation, many of us are asking, how much higher can this stock go? I mean, I don't disagree. On the other hand, Marvell, it's a smaller company, which gives it more potential headroom for growth, though it'll highly depend on how the company handles scaling. And that scaling question is where investors are split and where the opportunity may sit for us investors today. So which is a better buy, NVIDIA or Marvell? Well, consider that a consensus among 47 analysts rate NVIDIA a strong buy with a high target price of $350. This suggests as much as 32% potential upside from its most recent closing price. The average score of for NVIDIA is 4.7 and has remained unchanged in the last two months. Analysts rarely agree this strongly unless they see long-term visibility. Meanwhile, 34 analysts that cover Marvell rated a moderate buy. Their high target price is $122, which suggests as much as 42% potential upside. The average score for Marvell is 4.35 and has gone down in the last two months. So upside is higher, confidence is a bit lower. It's the classic higher risk, higher reward playbook, right? And look, I tend to agree here. NVIDIA and Marvell, they both play important roles in the AI ecosystem, but they both focus on very different areas. NVIDIA leads the AI compute market with unmatched performance, top-tier GPUs, and rapidly growing data center demand. They can't even keep up with it. Marvell, on the other hand, supports the AI infrastructure with high-speed networking and custom silicon, which is essential, but less visible and less scalable than NVIDIA's platform. So, Marvell offers upside potential. Its slower long-term growth and recent stock performance certainly lag behind NVIDIA's rapid momentum. So if you want exposure to different facets of AI, you might want to consider either of these two, but the difference will be in how much you buy of either or both. I say NVIDIA is a safer bet, so it may even be an anchor holding in your portfolio. Marvell, on the other hand, I think is a bit more speculative, so I certainly wouldn't be betting the farm on it, because together, they tell the two sides of the same long-term AI story, just with very different risk profiles. But what do you think? Which is a better stock for you? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe, because it'll help others find the video, it'll support the channel, and you won't miss out on any of my future deep dives. Well, folks, that's it for me today. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.